Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4. When we first uh, uh, were developing regular Street Fighter 4, we were pretty confident we'd given people the complete package, you know, the full, the hamburger, fries, the drink. We thought we'd given it all to them. Uh, but the good thing about having millions of people play your game over a long period of time is you start to notice things that even R&D was unaware of. You know, they found a few exploits here and there, a few combos that R&D wasn't even aware, uh, you know, that you were able to, to link these moves together. Uh, so this is a really good opportunity to kind of uh, address those issues, but at the same time it is super Street Fighter 4, so we're not dealing with a minor update, so rather than uh, just minor balance adjustments, we're also going to add plenty of uh, new moves and new ways to play and, uh, and uh, really kind of change up the, uh, the way the game feels uh, to a degree, so it really feels like you're playing a new version of Street Fighter 4. So basically we're looking to give all the characters in the game a, a little something new and, and different to do, you know, whether it be a new move or, or uh, the, the way their move uh, uh, moves across the screen or, or the amount of frames it takes to, uh, to execute, things like that. Uh, the problem is once you do something like that, once you make some small adjustment, you have to look at the entire game again uh, from a balance point of view and make sure that everything's kosher. Speaking a bit about some of the returning characters, as you now know, you know, T-Hawk and DJ will, will be making their return. Um, these are characters that we had originally considered putting in regular Street Fighter 4, um, but you know, things got down to the wire and they were just uh, kind of difficult to get in there and balance with all the other characters. Now, in addition to that, there's going to be a lot of other returning characters. So, you know, the whole theme of Super Street Fighter 4 is uh, responding to the wishes of the fans and then responding to their requests. So you will definitely see a lot more returning characters this time out. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, this new character, Judy. She's uh, really unique in the Street Fighter universe. She represents a couple of firsts. One, she's the first Korean character we've had in the Street Fighter game. Uh, and second, she's the first Taekwondo user. And that's, you know, it's a really popular sport. It's in the Olympics and everything, yet somehow uh, we've managed to neglect it uh, up until now, so we're rectifying that. Um, another interesting thing about her you'll notice is that her left eye glows when she does certain moves. And there's a good reason for that. It's, it's an artificial eye that was given to her by SIN, the, the weapons manufacturer that uh, is headed up by, by Seth, you know, the last boss of Street Fighter 4. Um, so she's definitely going to figure into the uh, storyline as well in, in a big way, and uh, maybe in some ways you might not expect. She's uh, not necessarily a good guy. Yeah, we're quite pleased uh, with the way both the uh, focus attack system and the uh, ultra combos uh, c came into uh, into being in Street Fighter 4. We think that they have fulfilled their roles uh, high level. If you look at tournaments and stuff, they're using it uh, exactly as we designed it. Uh, you know, they're they're using it similar to the the parry function in Street Fighter 3, and they're staging some really cool uh, counter attacks. Um, so I think we definitely did that right. Uh, the ultra combos is kind of interesting because we had intended it to be uh, used specifically to finish a match when. Uh, someone's in trouble and make like a big comeback after they've taken a lot of damage. What we find is that people are using it for that, but they're also finding other ways to, uh, to, you know, to link it into combos or to deliberately take some damage, just to have a flashy uh, ending to the fight, doing some other stuff we hadn't necessarily foreseen. So we, we do think that was a great addition as well. Um, as for changes in this version, you know, we'll be making some tweaks here and there. We feel that the systems themselves are strong, so we're not going to necessarily change them from the ground up. Um, but we're definitely thinking of some very specific uh, ways to, to alter and expand upon these systems. So as you remember, uh, with Street Fighter 4, the whole reason behind the, the Sumier art was just uh, a way to get across the idea of, of moving paintings, which was kind of the main visual concept of, of Street Fighter 4. So this is just kind of another take on that. We're still looking at the, at, at the moving art sort of thing, but this time we've gone with a, a kind of a sketchy look. Uh, and there's a reason behind that, and that is if you remember uh, Super Street Fighter 2, uh, some of the old artwork uh, used to promote that, some of the old posters and stuff. There's an image of Akuma and, uh, you know, there's some of the other new characters and they were all done with a very fine uh, line and very kind of sketchy sort of look. Um, so we're kind of trying to deliberately call that to mind. You know, this is, that was Super Street Fighter 2, this is Super Street Fighter 4, there's the, the, the commonality of the Super thing. Um, as far as inserting it into the actual game itself, the problem with this sort of art style is it's so finely detailed that it's actually hard to make out on the screen. So you probably won't actually see it in the game itself as some sort of filter or something that we've tried some experiments. Uh, but there are other places we can put it, uh, you know, in the interface and things like that. So you will probably see a similar look like that popping up somewhere in the game, but don't expect to necessarily see the uh, graphics in the entire game based upon that. Um, so it will be a, a, a full-on disc release. I do want to let you know though, that the price of said disc will be appropriate to the content. It won't be a full price game. Um, I can't give you an, an exact uh, uh, figure right now because we're actually still working on, on, on finding a way to make it happen. Uh, but you will not be charged a full 60 bucks for a game that, uh, of, of which you already own a large portion. I'll put it to you that way. Uh, as for release date, we're looking at uh, spring of 2010. I'd like to get it in your hands as soon as possible uh, so you can keep enjoying uh, the Street Fighter 4 universe.